Good morning. Why is Jeremiah called the weeping prophet? Our reading today is at Jeremiah 13, verses 15 to 17. Hear and give ear. Do not be proud, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he causes darkness and before your feet stumble on the dark mountains. And while you are looking for light, he turns it into the shadow of death and makes it dense darkness. But if you will not hear it, my soul will weep in secret for your pride. My eyes will weep bitterly and run down with tears because the Lord's flock has been taken captive. Now, so far, we're 130 videos into this series on Jeremiah. And today we've come to this passage upon which I base the title, Jeremiah the Weeping Prophet. Jeremiah, he's been prophesying for decades. Most people are just oblivious, and the nation's going away into disaster because they won't listen to the Lord their God. So now he's been at this for some time, and he sees the problems. He sees there are deep spiritual problems in the kingdom of Judah. And in fact, he sees what the key problem is. Pride. Pride is the big problem. It all sort of boils down, if you will, to that. The people are wealthy, self-absorbed, they're haughty. They're self-confident, and they're spiritually oblivious. There are honest-hearted men and women in the mix, too. Praise God. But they don't have enough influence to turn the tide, and so this whole nation is going into a remarkable uh, crash. And so God's prophet weeps for the people. They're going into captivity. The devils are in triumph. There's a terrible judgment that's, that's coming right up, and now it's inevitable. And so Jeremiah weeps for the people. Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. He's offered them merciful protections and help, but they're laughing, they're dancing, they're engaged in commerce. They're all kind of out doing their own things. They're out into the entertainment plan. They're near to be swept away by the thousands, but they don't know the time of their visitation. So like another prophet who wept between the porch and the altar, Jeremiah weeps for these people who are ignoring, by and large, almost all of them, ignoring God's messages of mercy. And you know, you and I can also pray. We can also weep between the porch and the altar. Most of our friends, our loved ones, even our fellow church members, have very little awareness of where we are in the flow of prophetic history. They understand very little about how the moral ravages are destroying the country around us, the people, the friends, our loved ones, being destroyed right now, not headed for heaven, headed for judgment and not ready, and they don't have an advocate in Jesus because they won't give themselves to him. And one day soon, the Bible tells us, the nations will seek to enforce their authority. Go and read Revelation chapter 13. They're going to tell us who can buy and sell and who can't. And like the nation of Judah in this time that we're reading about in these devotionals right now, a wall of judgment is also coming upon the world in which we live today, in the 2020s. God help us to be faithful and deliver the message. And you know what? He will help us. But let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Today is a repeat in many respects of the way things are in the kingdom of Judah. Help our hearts to be right with you, Lord. Help us to be connected to you and ready for action, Lord, whatever you want us to do. We don't want to face every day as a day of doom. It's not that, Lord, but we want to be right. Uh, we pray that you'll help the word to be in our hearts, that you'll transform us, help us to be more like Jesus every day. And Lord, one way we can be more is to be praying for people even weeping for them, Lord, and praying that you will change their hearts. Please intervene, Lord, and give us a word today, just the right word at just the right time to just the right person. We know a lot of people aren't very receptive. That's okay, Lord. You just show us what to do and help us to open our mouth, and Lord, you fill it with your words. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Show us how to give a word in season, even a short word or a long word, whatever it is. Lord. But open the way, and we will go through it. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So Jeremiah wept for the people lost in their pride and judgment bound. And you and I can pray for people today who are in the same condition and are facing the same danger. God be with us today.